So we broke some parts on Chris's Jeep. So we're gonna talk about all the parts that we broke on Chris's Jeep. I'm sure you can see some now, but first we are gonna start by washing this Jeep because it's pretty freaking dirty. So we're gonna use my new soap here, Off-Road Wash and Shine, so you guys can see how well this soap does. We've already been washing our Jeeps for a couple weeks now with this soap and it's been really good. So now we're gonna show you what it looks like. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Chestnut Checkers for making the label on the soap. You guys can follow them down below. I have them linked up. If you guys need any design work, they'll hook you up. The owner is my friend and he knows what he's doing, so I'll vouch for him. So check him out down below. Anyways, let's continue with the wash. And George right here, he's an expert car washer, so he's gonna help us out. He's even repping Nadra off-road. Did you wear that on purpose? <laughs> no. <laughs> Chris is the only one without a shirt. <laughs> I'll set everything up, but I'm not washing. All right, expert car washer. What, do, washing. what do we need to do? <laughs> See, I'm not used to washing Jeeps. I'm oh, really yeah. good at washing Tacomas. Only Tacomas? Only Tacomas. I'm not gonna lie, they surprised me this weekend, so. You do good on Tacoma. We gotta test yours out. We gotta do a Jeep vs. Tacoma video. <laughs> it's already uploaded. Check it out. Link in bio. My Jeep, though. Oh. <laughs> so, right here we have a foam cannon from Sunjo. It's you a Gooner edition. <laughs> you said you got that for 10 bucks? Yeah, I was like, uh, I was like 15 bucks with 15 taxes. Bucks. That's not bad. We have one that's a lot more expensive and it does not work as good as this one. So, we're gonna go ahead and fill up the soap. So here it goes. And this stuff smells really good. It's a cherry scent, but I don't know. What does it smell like to you? To me, it smells like uh, oh Sprite Cranberry. All right, so now it's time for the soap. So there it is. We have now sort of washed. There's still some mud in places, but this soap is made here in the USA. So the soap itself, it's actually made in California and then the bottle and labels and all that me and Chris do. Let me show you what damage we did to Chris's Jeep. Thank you to the Gooner for letting us use his stuff. Anytime. And first person to go subscribe to him will get a free bottle. So go subscribe, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook after you do, and then send me a screenshot showing that you subscribe to him and I'll send you this. So only the first person will get it. All right, Chris, so what damage did we do to your Jeep? Uh, what damage did you do to the Jeep? No, that was all you. <laughs> I didn't break the drive shaft. So. Hey, hey, wait, 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 hold up. <laughs> first thing we did, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bunch of scratches from the trees and bushes. Chris actually went into the bushes on purpose. Yep. That way it looks like he off-roads. <laughs> Makes sense. No, the trees were overgrown, so Chris uh, ended up hitting some. It happens when you go off-roading. So that was the first thing. The second thing that kind of sucks is the mud flaps. So as you can tell, they are all gone while off-roading. We lost two of them. Was that me or you? Uh, that was me. That was you. That was me. Chris was sending it, jumping it everywhere. The tires rub, so I think with the tire rubbing, it just pulled the mud flaps down. And it sucks because those are actually Jeep mud flaps and they're really hard to come by. So the mud flaps are gone. We did save two though, Chris saved two of them. We are gonna give one away, so the second person to subscribe to Gooner will get that. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey you'll get him signed by Najar himself, right? And Chris too, oh, and, me. and Gooner. Yep. We'll, we'll all sign it, and then, uh, so the second person to send me a message with the screenshot that they subscribe to the Gooner, We'll get that mud flap. Is that good? Enough, that's good that works for me. That works for them? All right. Now the worst damage that we did to the Jeep. This is the worst one. We're going up a hill. Roll the clip. Yeah, yeah. So we were in four low on first gear, trying to go up a little obstacle, and we ended up starting to hear clicking from the drive shaft. So the worst thing is the drive shaft that got messed up. So this has a Rezepa drive shaft that has the Rezepa ends on the axle and the transfer case. So we're gonna have to replace both of those. We're probably gonna hit a junkyard to source those parts and then we'll install it, obviously. So that was the worst damage that we did. We couldn't make it up the little hill. We backed out before any real damage happened. That way we could still drive it home. We didn't have tools either. We messed up by not taking tools. If it was a Tacoma, it would have gone up easily. Yeah, right. Except yours. <laughs> and another thing that did happen is the tires, they actually started uh, like breaking off. I guess chipping, what do you call that? Yeah. Yeah, chipping off. That's just gonna happen when you start going over rocks. It's pretty normal, I guess. But anyways, uh -huh. that's, that's all that happened to the Jeep. It's not normal. It's not normal. That, that just sh goes to show that the rubber's old. Anyways, that is all that we can find on the Jeep that we need to fix or replace. If you guys want to pick up the soap, it'll be linked down below. And remember, whoever subscribed to the Gooner, the first person that sends me a message on Instagram or Facebook will get the soap, and then the second person will get the mud flaps signed by all of us. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.